Hello soulmates. It is an absolute pleasure to have you once again on my channel. If this is your first time checking out my channel, please do consider subscribing because on this channel I teach you how to do simple DIY fashion right there at your home. And guys, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all those who have subscribed to my channel. Indeed, you are the biggest VIP right now. We have hit 1,000 subscribers and I am so grateful and I'm so thankful. May God bless you really, really good. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a gypsy skirt. Now, this gypsy skirt is going to have an elastic waistband. So let's look at the plan because I like to plan ahead so that I know that at the end of it all, it will come out perfect. So this is the plan that I have for my skirt. So I want a skirt length of 30 inches and I want three tiers on this skirt. You can decide to make your gypsy skirt in whatever amount of tiers you want. But I want my gypsy skirt to have three tiers. So it means then, and I want my tears to be, I want my tears to be evenly distributed. So it means then that I'm going to divide this length, 30 inches by three, in order to know how much each tear will be. So let's look at the first tear because there are some little differences that I would like to discuss. So for the first tear, I know my length is it's gonna be a length of 10 inches but because of the elastic casing that will go on the top of this skirt you're going to need some extra seam allowance in order to accommodate for it so my 10 inches that i will have and remember this 10 inches comes from you dividing the length of the skirt by the amount of tears that you want you're going to add two and a half inches to it and now you're going to have 12 and a half inches. Now it depends on the width of your waistband also. Okay, so now for the width of the skirt. The width of the skirt, I'm going to take my waist measurement, which is 34 inches. And I'm going to multiply that waist measurement by 1.5 inches. And that's going to give me 51 inches. So the width of my first tier is going to be 12 inches in length and 51 inches wide now let's look at the second tier so now i know that my the width of the first tier is going to be 51 inches then the second tier the length of the second tier is going to be 10 inches but then i will have to add one more inch to attach the second tier at the top to the first one and then the second tier to the third tier at the bottom so this is why i added one inches one inch for seam allowance now the width of it i am going to make the first tier the second tier twice as much as the first tier which is 51 inches so if i multiply the 51 times 2 i'm going to get 102 so that would be so the for the second tier i'm going to have a length of 11 inches and a width of 102 inches now you can decide how full you want your skirt to be if you do not want it to be so much full then you could maintain this 1.5 inches that we used at the waist similarly if you see a pattern you see that the third tier is going to be the same length 10 inches plus the one inch seam allowance and the width of the fabric is going to be two times the second tier which is 102 Time, which is 102 times 2 which is 204 so I hope you understand exactly what I just said so now let's talk I went ahead and I cut out each tear so this is my first tear okay this is my first tear this is 51 inches by um, 12 and a half inches and I went ahead and I surged it because I just want to you could get this done in 10 15 minutes and I just wanted to Do a quick sew. Okay, this is the second tear which is two times that This amount and this one 
is the third tier, which is two times the second amount. So what you're going to do now is that you're going to sew these up. So what you're going to do, you're going to gather them each tier and sew them up. So I'll show you what to do now. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to take each of my tiers and so this is the first tier and I'm going to join it at the back with half an inch seam allowance right here. So I'm going to fold it in two and I'm going to and I'm gonna join it with half an inch seam allowance. I'm gonna do that for each tier. Now what you're gonna do, you're, put, you're gonna put away the first tier and you're gonna work on the second tier because the first tier is going to be gathered by an elastic. So this is your second tier here and what you're going to do you're going to run a basting stitch two basting stitches um, all the way around at the top you're going to do the same for the third tier also so i'm going to do that and then i'll show you what to do next so put your machine at the loosest stitch and the longest stitch Remember to open up the seams, okay? Open it up. Okay, so mate, so I went ahead and I gathered, this is the second um, tier that I've gathered, okay? So I gathered the top of it, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to gather it up to fit the first part of my tier. So I'm gonna take my, and my, my, second tier and i'm going to pull on it until it's the same length as the first tier okay so that's what you're going to do now so the so I'm take it and i'm gonna start pulling okay so that it fits the first tier you can use your tape measure to check check so i'm gonna check to see if it's okay, I should get approximately 20. Oh, yeah, so let me check if it's the same thing. So, what you're going to do, turn it over right size. I'm gonna match up the seams together there, okay. So you notice my right sides are facing each other. I'm gonna just drop this inside, put this inside, and I'm going to ensure that the gathers are even and I'm gonna pin it all the way around. So I'm gonna do that now. So now what you're going to do, you're gonna take it to your sewing machine and secure those, the second tier to the first tier. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay guys, so this is what you're going to have. You're going to see some basting threads, but that's okay. If you want, you could go ahead and give it a top stitch all the way around on this point of it. But if, if that's what you want, like to just secure it, but I'll just leave mine surged like that there so what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to attach the other tear to this part the end of it so i'm gonna do that now i'm gonna do the same thing the same procedure okay okay so mate so i went ahead and i attached the the third tier to the second tier so I'm going to sew it together now. So I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine and then I'm gonna sew all the way to attach the first tier to the second tier. Also, I'm going to, I decided to give it a top stitch. So after I finish sewing, I'm going to top stitch to secure it. I'm gonna do that now.
Okay guys, so I went ahead and I attached the second tier to the third tier. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to do a top stitch. So I'm gonna run a top stitch all the way around to secure this here. I'm gonna stitch it towards the top, okay? Okay, so men, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to make an elastic casing for this for this skirt because I'm gonna put an elastic. So what I want it to do, I want it to go ahead and you're gonna turn in half an inch and then you're going to turn in one inch or one and a quarter inch so that the elastic could go in. So I'm gonna do that now. And I'm gonna leave a, a, a small space, or maybe about two inches, so that I could thread my elastic in. So I'm gonna do that now. Moment. So I went ahead and I made my elastic casing as you see and I left an opening so that I could thread my elastic in it. So what I want you to do is that I want you to cut an elastic to the measurement of your waist plus one inch. So this is my elastic and what you're going to do you're going to take your safety pin and you're going to thread that elastic in the space that you've left like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna thread my elastic in. Okay, so mates, don't worry about the marks that I made. I made them because I, I didn't want the sides to, to shift. So <laughs> I didn't want it to be twisted and I'm not sure which side is which so I mark them just it's just a little trick that I use. So what I'm going to do now when I take it out I'm going to put it together and I'm going to run some zigzag stitches and then I let it um, go inside of the band. So that's what I'm going to do now. So guys what I'm going to do now is that I'm just going to close my stitch right here I'm going to close it up all right so I went ahead and I did it so what you're going to do now is that you're going to finish the M of your skirt so I'm gonna do that now and then I'll show you the finished product So if you find this video helpful, do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to turn on the post notification bell and give me a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Until we meet again, bye!